was born in Birmingham, Alabama, and my family moved to California in '63. We moved to Watts, the Nickerson Garden Project. Yeah. I remember when there were when 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 gangs were a different kind of gang back then. When they were more like a club, and you know, there, occasionally there'd be a fight, you know, a, a rumble <laughs> where they'd fight with their fists, or at the worst, somebody might have a bicycle chain. <laughs> Or a, a stick, or maybe a knife, maybe a knife. I mean, that's sort of like getting daring with a knife. But then it, I remember when it when it changed too. When did it you change? You know, it changed when I was going to junior high school, like around 1968, 69, when the Crips came into existence. I mean, it's like after that, uh, gunplay became a part of gang life, you know, and, it, and after that it just it just started escalating. Now to this piece, which is, I mean, this is the only painting I'm going to have in the show since everything else is sort of photograph uh, based. Uh, but this, it sort of ties into a project I had been working on uh, a year ago uh, that was not, it wasn't location based. Like these things are uh, Chicago, uh, at least that piece is Chicago based. But I was doing a series of paintings called The Lost Boys, and it was about, uh, a lot about the loss of innocence of young people uh, and the, their loss of life due to gang violence. Uh, and so there were a series of memorial portraits, uh, imaginary memorial portraits of uh, black kids who were killed in the crossfire or either were, were actual combatants in uh, gang warfare. Um, this is, I mean, this is like their, their banner. This is their war banner, in a sense, under which they... This is what under, under this sign they fight. Doing this like this sort of canonizes the this individual. I mean, it makes this a, like an icon in a sense. And in in the communities, I mean, for some of these gangbangers, are really like heroes for some people. Folk heroes. Yeah, I mean, they they're outlaws in a sense, but they also uh, they're, they're lionized by a, a lot of younger people. I mean, a part of that is. It, you know, not everybody's forced to get into a gang. I mean, there's some people who get into gangs because they really idolize some of these guys. But I was sort of toying with the idea of, of how to represent this, if I would represent this individual, this person as an innocent uh, victim of gang warfare, or if I might try to suggest that he might, because of his gang affiliation, be uh, canonized in some way.